assuming most of you guys have kind of been following the journey and you know kind of what the album is about and the process of it, but I guess in case any of you are like plus one zero or completely new for some whatever reason, um, I guess this album for me, like, I was very fortunate um, post pandemic to be invited on a lot of support tours, which was amazing, but it kind of meant that like my whole world was flipped upside down and like what I knew to do every day was to write songs and I couldn't do that anymore. So what I would do is like in between the tours when I had a gap, I would like book an Airbnb in the UK somewhere that looked like it had a piano. I'd like fill my car with all my music equipment. I'd drive there and I'd like figure out how to convert like the living room into a studio. And I would like get there for a week and just like be alone with my thoughts. And um, I guess over the years, I kind of collected all these songs and I collected like a hundred songs and it got to a point where I was like, okay, I need to start like figuring out how to finish this and put an album out. And um, yeah, I guess it was only when I was listening to all the songs that it became very apparent that the album should be called Vertigo. And I think that idea for me is more of an emotional sense, like obviously Vertigo. I know when I put out the song Vertigo, everyone was like, Vertigo is not technically being scared of heights. I was like, I know, I know that. Um, but I guess to me, Vertigo like is a theme throughout the album in, in an emotional sense. And the idea that like heartache and growing up often just feels like this idea of like this dizzy feeling, like the world is upside down and like you can't quite find your own feet on the ground. Um, and there's a lot of big feelings on this album. You know, there are songs that exist like Astronaut, which I'm going to play next. And um, there's like really euphoric songs like Miss Me Too or something. And I guess, yeah, it's all tied in with this one universal feeling. Uh, but I wanted to drop it in bite sizes because firstly, I just wanted to give us all loads of music to enjoy. Um, but also I just felt like we were almost building up to this moment of like euphoria, you know? Um, but I feel like it would be only right to throw it back to a volume one song and sing Astronaut. Um, now, listen guys, as many of you know, Chris Martin was very kind enough to help me finish this song and um, play it on the piano on the track. Um, he's not free tonight, which, um, <laughs> so you're going to have to put up with me, um, so I'm going to do my best.